this is the UDP server program so save the file as a UDP server.c our first system call is socket system call which contains the three parameters first one is family second one is type and third one is protocol this socket system call returns one integer value so first of all declare one integer value that is a server socket then call the socket system call that is server socket is equal to socket in which the first parameter is AF init which actually defines uh, IPv4 internet protocols second one is SOC dgram and third one is IP proto UDP because this is the UDP program so that you have to define the second parameter as a SOC underscore dgram then compile the program That is GCC UDP server.c. Next system call is bind system call, which actually assigns the address to the socket. Now it contains the three parameters. The first one is socket FD, second one is a structure variable, and third one is the length of that structure. So first of all, we have to declare the structure variable that is server header and second one is client address now we have to assign the three parameters for the structure the first one is asin family that is af init af init actually defines the ipv4 internet protocols second variable is asin port which actually contain one method that is called h2ns it is nothing but the host to host byte ordering to the network byte ordering short i need takes the port number as a parameter here we have the port number 50005 and third one is the internet address now we will define bind system call in which the first parameter is server sock fd second one is the structure variable and third one is the size of that structure variable Next system call is receive from because this is the server program which receives the data first. So first of all we have to declare the two variables. The first one is uh, receive data which is a character array with the size 100 and second one is send data which is also one of the character array with the size 100. receive from actually contain the six parameters the first one is SOC FD that is server SOC FD second one is the receive data that is actually act as a buffer in which we are going to receive the data third parameter is size of that received data fourth one is a flag which is always set to the zero fifth parameter which is most important which actually takes the sender's address okay so it actually takes that address into the structure variable here we have the structure variable as a client header and the address of the client size
you know, define the same system call in which the first parameter is server sock ID. Second one is the data which we want to send. That is same data. Then size of the same data. Fourth parameter is zero, which indicates the flag. Then fifth parameter is to which you, you want to send the data. That is a structure variable. And last parameter is that client size. 